Hello everyone, as you can see this is Lenovo ID Pair 330 and this is my bootable Windows 10 USB drive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reinstall Windows 10 in it. So I'll show you how to enable the USB boot and also reinstall the Windows system. So plus, first connect your Windows 10 drive and then take a SIM opening tool or similar to that, anything. And the Lenovo IdeaPad plus most of the new ThinkPad, what they done, they added a button called Nobo button, which is a little hole from outside. And there is a switch inside, which one would give you directly uh, BIOS option and the recovery option, boot option, three options in one button. Okay, so what are you going to do? First, we're going to try to find a button, which is that one hole in there so while the computer is off we're gonna push with the stick something like that as you can see the machine is starting up at the same time on the screen we're gonna see kind of message noble button menu okay from here what are you gonna do we're gonna go to BIOS setup because if you go to the boot menu it's not gonna give us straight away any option so let's go to BIOS setup hit enter from here if you go to configuration sorry first could be the secure boot as it says enable we must need to make it disabled due to enable the USB boot so first go to configuration from here try to find if there is anything that you needed any USB option or something like this but I can see the configuration is absolutely fine so we're gonna go back to security by the right L and from here if you go to secure boot as you can see this is enable you must need to make it disable right so hit enter as you can see this is disable you are good to go now we're gonna go to boot menu which is the next one and from here as you can see the boot mode with only UEFI which one would not allow you to show in the boot menu your bootable USB drive unless that is UEFI based okay so hit enter and put legacy support once you've done that, and then boot priority option also came EVFI. Sorry. Uh, go to the second one, hit enter, go to legacy, hit enter again. And now we're going to save it by F10. All right. So once we save by pressing F10 and say yes, the system would restart. But don't worry. Hopefully that would give a easy load up from the USB if it doesn't no problem we don't need to worry about it what are you gonna do we're gonna go back to the same procedure okay but first I just want to check if it shows the actual USB boot or not okay so let's check it out okay okay as you can see it came up straight away because the system BIOS could recognize the BIOS could recognize this bootable USB drive and straight away it put it up from here. Now, if you are not able to see this screen, if it goes back to the same the hard drive boot, then what you need to do, you need to turn it off completely. I'm going to show you now. So once it off, switch off, then we're going to press, I mean, pinch with this uh, SIM ejector tool to the Nobo button menu. From here, we're going to go to boot menu now, hit enter, and as you can see from here, there is a big list, include your USB Kingstone Data Traveler, which is mine. So I'm going to select that one because this is Windows 10 bootable drive, and hit enter. So in that way, you can go to the USB boot straight away without checking if this one start up from the actual hard drive or SSD, whatever, from internal to external, okay? So now we're gonna be able to see the setup menu. As you can see, it's working now. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things, what you should do. Go to United, my case, United Kingdom, hit next, install now, and then setup is starting. We're gonna wait for the next page. And then it will take quite a long time because it depend on your computer configuration how 
how strong it is so accept the terms and condition and go to next custom install and then if you want really really fresh and new like brand new windows then it's better to delete all the partitions remember if you do that you're going to lose all your existing data so make sure you do back it up first and then you do the process so i'm going to delete all of them one by one delete 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 now this is one tb i want to make two partitions so the nine i will make it four apply okay now the system would create the proper partition in there as you can see two of them 442 448 so i'm going to choose the bottom one for the windows installation and click next now it's going to go up to 100 percent fill up all the options that you can see it's going to copy the data first getting the files ready for installation then the actual uh, installing features to start up then the updates then it would be finalized and end of the day it would be finished this one take quite a long time quite straightforward the next procedure so i'm not going to make my video too longer it's long already anyway still if you do have any question regarding the usb boot for lenovo idea pair 330 feel free to leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to answer it thank you so much for watching guys bye for now